I used to think that $10 was actually a pretty decent budget for a keyboard. I used to think that the only thing that mattered was having some media keys and some volume switches, and that was about it. I was so wrong. I realized I was wrong when I had to type up a bunch of essays for school. Snap, I have one due tonight! The Italian Revolution was started by two brothers, Mario and Luigi. My old keyboard was starting to get a bit spongy, the letters were starting to wear off the keys, and for games, whenever I would use the shift key to run, that key sometimes wouldn't go down unless I pushed it in the right spot. So. Clearly, I was losing my ranked online matches because of the sticky shift key, and not because I was a terrible player, which meant it was time to go to the computer store. And naturally, I went for the cheapest keyboard that had RGB. What can I say? RGB fever is contagious. And honestly, this keyboard is my favorite of the rubber dump computers. And I have used some mechanical keyboards too. This isn't mechanical, but honestly, I really don't mind. I'm also not a keyboard snob, so there is that. And as long as you're not a keyboard snob, I think you'll like the way this keyboard types as well. It is actually a lot louder than some other rubber dome keyboards, but it's still a lot quieter than some other mechanical keyboards. My dad is absolutely a mechanical keyboard snob. He has the exact switches he wants for each key, and he has differently weighted keycaps to make them bounce at a certain speed. Which, in my mind, is just about as keyboard snobby as he could possibly get. He doesn't even have RGB. The good typing experience on this keyboard isn't even half the story. While the lighting isn't per key, there are three different zones that you can adjust the colors for. Or you can do my personal favorite, the rainbow wave. You can change which direction it goes, you can change how fast it moves. You can also adjust the brightness to off, low, medium, high. You've got your 10 key number pad, you've got your media and volume controls, you have indicators for caps lock, number lock, and scroll lock. As for what makes this keyboard stand out, besides all the RGB lighting, you have these G keys. G1 through 6. This button is so fly. If you're typing a paper for school, those keys can definitely save you at least 5 minutes over the course of your paper. And let's be honest, if you're typing your paper on the day of or the night of, then 5 minutes can be the difference between turning your paper in at 11.59 or 12.04. Those 5 minutes can turn your A into a B minus. Here's an example. I press macro record G5 and it's going to cite our source in MLA format which let's say the author's name is potato it cites potato and then does the close parentheses and then does the left arrow key so that we can go back and type in the page number. So I've typed some paragraph, including an interesting quote. So now I press G5, and boom, another potato source. Again. This keyboard even does macro recording for the special Unicode characters that you type in using the number pad. And if you want to learn more about that, check out this video here in the top right corner. But basically, if I do macro record G4, and then type in something on the number pad, such as 130 for the accented E. Now when I press G4, there you go. If you're constantly deciding between a Subway $5 foot long, Ooh, or a $5 foot long keyboard, then the Corsair K55 is absolutely worth the upgrade. I can't recommend it enough. 
I use these macro keys whenever I'm typing essays. I use them whenever I'm working in 3D animation and have two-handed keyboard shortcuts that take my hand off the mouse, and I use it for video and audio editing all the time. I cannot stress how good those macros are. And because you're not doing it with software, you're not giving up your function keys at the top either. But if you do have like $100 to blow on a keyboard, then going for something with a number bigger than 55 on a Corsair K, insert number here, keyboard, you'll get mechanical switches, you'll get better RGB lighting control, like even on a per key basis. And honestly, like, I can't blame you. If I had $100 to blow, yeah, I'd probably do that too. But for this keyboard, being at the price it is, and getting all of this amazingness that you get, I seriously can't recommend it enough. Everybody, go out and buy them. Amazon link in the description. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. When Mario got to the first castle, his princess was not there.